My name is Clark Bendel. I've been with the business for about 22 years now. I am the technical product leader. I've done a lot of the technology development for our real 3D measurement capabilities, on the, especially on the Mentor Visual IQ system. Many industries use tubing or piping that have weld, um, welded portions within the tubing. And often it's necessary for the manufacturer to verify after they've applied the weld that the weld completely penetrates the base metal and that the weld height does not exceed a certain maximum. So they need ways to be able to go inside this tubing or piping, whether it be a riser in an oil and gas market or you know, stainless steel tubing for uh, pharmaceuticals or, or other process uh, industries. If the weld is found to be too far below the base material at any point, that piece of tubing will have to be scrapped and they'll have to manufacture another one. Similarly, if the weld is too high within the pipe, that can restrict the flow of whatever material is going through the pipe and that also often would have to be scrapped. One thing that makes these weld measurements difficult is the curvature of the pipe. So the more traditional depth measurement tools that are offered on video borescopes work on a single reference plane and measure the depth or height relative to that single plane. If you have curvature, that single plane is only valid at one point in the pipe. And so we created a new measurement type we call area depth profile, where we're able to place two cursors on one side of the weld and a third cursor on the opposite side. And the system will determine the surface orientation following the curvature, and it'll look at profile slices across the weld around the radius of inspection and it will automatically find either the lowest point or the highest point relative to the base material. So if you have incomplete penetration, you can find the spot where that is at a minimum, and if, you have, if you're looking for the maximum height of the weld, it will also identify that location automatically. And then it can provide an additional view showing the cross-section of the the weld at the measurement location. Once the area depth profile measurement has identified either the lowest point or the highest point, it's very important for the inspector to be able to look at our 3D point cloud visualization of the weld in that area to verify that yes, we've found the highest or lowest point and also that the quality of the 3D data in that area is sufficient to be able to trust that measurement. And with older techniques that only show a 2D image, you just don't have any of that information to help the inspector gain confidence that they've made an accurate assessment of that weld.